going on guys, you know who it is, Balgin to be here, back with another video, and I recently got a lot of positive feedback on an Instagram story that I posted. It was really cheap, it only cost me a little over five bucks to do, so I decided that I'm making a YouTube video about it now. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so as you guys saw in the very beginning, opened a package of these weird little square things that some of you guys might know what they are. They're basically just uh, scotch double-sided tape, but they're specifically meant for mounting objects to the wall. So as you can see, they come in little squares. All you gotta do is peel them off the little rectangle thing, put each individual square where you want them, and then peel back the adhesive and mount whatever object you want to wherever you want. Make sure you get it as far into the corner of the box as you can, and then move on to the next box. For a little bit extra support for all the paranoid people out there thinking the box is gonna fall, I did end up putting an extra square in the middle of the box, just for that extra support, but I don't even know if it's necessary. I just did it because I knew I had enough mounting squares for each individual box. So yeah, there's nothing much to it. I just went ahead and did this with every single one of my boxes. You guys could tell here. And I guess that concludes step one. I don't know. I'm just doing a voiceover. I don't really know what to tell you guys. Uh, I guess I could just put music in the background and have you guys watch this. It's, it's really not that complicated, okay? So I'm just going to do some type of edit so I don't have to talk right now and you guys can just understand what I'm saying and understand what I'm doing. Alright, so once you got all that done and your sticky things are ready to go, all you want to do is peel back the adhesive and uh, mount the boxes. Now a good rule of thumb that I did here is as you can see I would pull up the, the tab of each box and then line it up with the box that's on top of it just so you know that it's nice and straight. Then once you're done with that you just want to put your hands inside the box and press the back side inside the box against the wall. That way you don't crush the box or anything and you could really feel around the adhesive pressing on the wall and um, it just allows for the best stickiness I guess so as you can see I'm just going over it making sure that everything is lined up and uh, yeah there's nothing much to that I guess now just for all my guys out there that uh, are a little paranoid of basically taping your boxes and your shoe shelves to the wall um, and you guys are paranoid that it's gonna fall down here's a little video of me I realized that I didn't line up the second box with the top box and I was literally trying to pry it off of the wall with these mounting squares in the back. And as you can see, I was having some trouble. I have planks, actual wood planks on my wall. And the adhesive was literally pulling the planks that are nailed into the wall back before it would pull the, the actual box off the wall. So that just goes to show that this does work. It does hold up and you, you shouldn't really have to worry too much about this uh, shelf completely falling down. So uh, yeah, that's really all this entire tutorial is. I guess all you have to do is take tape and put it on the back of boxes and you got yourself some, uh, some uh, nice little shoe shelves there. So I'm just gonna let the rest of this video play out. At the end, I'm gonna put some little pictures and, and the final product down. So make sure you stay tuned to that. But for right now, this has been your boy Balatron or Baylor signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the recent support. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.